This is Cars All the Time. I'm here at the Keels and Wheels. Is there, or is it Wheels and Keels? Keels and Wheels. Keels and Wheels. That's what I thought. And uh, we're down here in Seabrook, Texas, and we're talking to Jerry, correct? Jerry. And uh, what year? It looks like a 1913? It is a 1913. American Underslung. <laughs> Now that's a that's a, a mouthful right there. Well, it's actually an American tourist. Yeah. But they call them an underslung because of the way their suspension is. The suspension is actually over the frame, which lowered the car. And they uh, the suspension being above the frame right here in the front. Right. Lowered, and then they put these big wheels on it to keep them out of the ruts, keep the frame from hitting the bottom. Right. And it lowered the running board so ladies could get in. So it was it was one of the first attempts to get the car's center of gravity down. Oh, it's got a roof that goes back or something, or it looks like it's tied. Well, down. it's a it's a convertible, and it's uh, you can see the brackets in the back. Right. Those are saddles for the roof to rest in, and you can clasp them back so that the roof won't bounce around. Let's go back this way. So it's now. Uh, how, how long have you owned this car now? This car has been in the family. Uh, my father-in-law restored it, but it's been in the family since 1994. 1994, that's a long time. So, uh, how much of this of your, as your, of your family had to refurbish this car? Well, my, my father-in-law is Harold Coker, Coker Tire Company. Okay. And he headed up the project. That's a big company. It is a big company. <laughs> and Harold had a, had a very large uh, collection when he died, a private collection. Yeah, yeah. This is one of those cars. And uh, Harold loved a project. He, lo he, he had a goal that when he died, he wanted to be working on a project. Right. And he had two going when he passed away. <laughs> this he was one actually, of them. Yeah, he actually fell and broke his hip in the barn where the cars were. Oh, he, was, no. he, he loved his cars. But, and he was a, almost 85. But uh, there's a lot of hands touched this car. A lot of people worked on it. Uh, when Harold found the car and bought it back in, I think, 94, he got it out of California from a man named Bob Tony. Okay. And he bought it from Bob Tony's widow. There were, uh, they had four. And Harold got two and another man got two. Same year? Uh, no, they were various years. Oh, okay, okay. But Harold ended up with two, and this is one of those two. Right. And... Uh, he all it was it was the chassis and the drivetrain so this has got a new body on it new leather and all that so he built all of what you see but the car was all intact right and he right. restored it ground up wow that's a lot of restoring because you can't buy these parts right anyway. well i mean you, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll take it come here babe we'll come here. take it this is harold coker's daughter I'm Galen. Wow. Nice to meet you. Kelly. How are you Hi, doing? Nice to meet you. And she is Christy. Too. And this car, when Harold got it back in '94, he told Christy, "This one's yours." And when he when he did the title work, he titled it to her. So it's always been her car. Oh, and now that he's passed away, we sort of claimed ownership of it. Now, do you get to drive it? I don't choose to drive it. I choose to ride. He she, drives. She has a chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's nickname was the Silver Eagle, and it's got a Silver Eagle emblem on the front. That's the standard. I saw that. I saw that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Kelly really likes the car. I, I like it. it. I, I like it. I love it. It's awesome. Now, Kelly's it's wanting to... It's going to be yours. Oh, really? <laughs> is it for sale? Yes, it is. Is it really? Yes, it is. Well, today. Maybe tomorrow she may say, I don't think I want to sell it. <laughs> now, you're asking about this right here, right? Yes. What is it? This bulb? Right. What, what is that? <laughs> Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> See here, look, it, it goes all the way over here, all the way over here, right there. Yeah, wow. and it's an interesting little horn. Usually they had a bulb, you know, that stuck out like, right, a, right. Uh -huh. like a trumpet. But this one has a different kind of deal. That is so cool. And that, that is period correct. Oh, where is it? It is, uh, but it, you don't see them very often. Right, I've right. Seen, you can see them on some cars, but right, right. Uh, it's period correct. But it's now, what is this right here? That's a battery box. That's a battery box? Yeah, this car came with all electric running lights and headlights, and it came actually in 1913 with a starter. It, it had its own starter. Wow. It wow. does have a crank, because you always want to have your manual override. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Let's walk back here in the back. Okay. Wow. Now these are some tall tires. wheels and tires. 
How tall do these things get? Well, they're 38 by four and a half, and the 38 is the height of the tire from tread to tread. Right. And then the four and a half is the distance between here and here. Okay. So, so you've got you got four and a half and four and a half, which is nine inches. Right. So you subtract nine inches from the 38, and that gives you your wheel size. Okay. Now there's one thing missing on here, the trunk. No trunk. <laughs> no trunk on this on this model, but if you look into the back seat, the trunk is kind of in front of the back seat. <laughs> There's a lot of room, room back, back there. there. Yeah, yeah. I would love to earn this. I mean, own it because my thing is I've always liked Victorian homes. I'm back in the 30s, and this would be perfect. My home, my car. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's there's very few of these around. True. Know, That's true. Uh, and they're and they're quite popular. The American underslung is a is a popular style because they're 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 rare and they're different. Right. Because the fenders are higher than the radiator. Yes. And they've got a very low profile. And if you take the top down, they are very low and very wow. sleek. Oh, I bet you they are. This is awesome. Wow! 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 Well, thank you, Jerry. We enjoyed this. Thank you so, thank you so much. much for letting us thank you, get to interview you with this car, a gorgeous car.